Oh shit, I should probably like not like fix the I mean like fix it here. Oh crap. Uh whoopsie doodle. Uh, let me just delete the display capture because fuck that. Okay, there we go. Uh there we go. That's the stuff. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh playing some more Stranger of Paradise tonight. Hopefully, uh, actually, my, my, when I turned on my PS5 today, I was like, oh, hey, the uh, controller has an up, your controller has an update. Plug it in. Updated it. I kind of forgot the PS5 controllers were updatable. Because, like, back in my day, uh, oh, shit, DMs, uh, nothing really spicy there. It's really, uh, just tr trash wing communications. Uh, one guy messaged me, like, a uh, cat page, uh, degenerate shit page. Me, me talking, complaining to FedEx, like, there's no hidden, uh, messages that are really worth, uh, looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Sorry, I'm, like, kind of also low-key finishing up some work. Low-key, not high-key. Uh, low-key. <laughs> high-key. To gummy. There we go. I wish fucking One Piece fans would like stop fucking spoiling the fucking new chapter. I haven't, I haven't like, uh, hello. I haven't like read, I haven't got spoiled myself. But I see like fucking like, uh, things look like spoilers. I'm qu quickly like scroll past, you know? There's been a lot of things that, like, okay, there are people that are, like, not even, like, into One Piece, who don't give a fuck about One Piece, that are fucking reading these spoilers. I'm like, but why? Kaka clout. That's why. Like, okay, there, that, you know that one bitch who was, like, gatekeeping cosplay literally yesterday? Yeah. I keep bringing that fucking, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so I actually forgot to go talk about that. There was literally a girl fucking gatekeeping cosplay saying that, like, oh, if you're not, you know, perfect, if you don't actually put effort in... Like, you're not really a real cosplayer. And naturally, she got her ass ratioed. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, there's, like, parts of cosplay that I think are worth gatekeeping. Like, I don't know. I'd love to, like, gatekeep the fucking mean girls out there. But I don't really, like, agree with, like, the whole, like, oh, we can't, you gotta be perfect. Well, I I'm gonna be honest. The whole, like, you gotta look perfect has basically perpetuated this whole cost uh, cosplay model stereotype where, like... I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't know, I, I, as someone who does the fucking, like, the cosplay thaw modeling stuff, I, I kind of, like, I don't fit the normal mold of all these people. I already know that, I 100% understand that, that's why I'm never, ever, ever going to be popular. I don't fit the fucking TikTok face mold that every single fucking girl has. You know, like that sort of thing. I've already come to terms with that. I kind of accept that. I accept that by myself. If someone likes and supports my stuff, I assume, you know, like I just don't kind of, you know, I already kind of know that. But also, I just don't like the fact that, like, if you're not kind of model perfect, it's kind of sh kind of shitty. You're kind of treated differently. Do you really want the normie audience, though? But no, I do not want the normie audience. Also, a uh, sick hunter hunter hoodie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like, uh, I think it got that, like, Hot Topic or something, probably, because, like, Hot I'm Topic, like, uh, they merchandise the fuck out of this, this animated manga for, like, a, a franchise where it's, like, it's an indefinite hiatus. I'd be honest, I don't understand the, the merchandising of Hunter x Hunter, because I also just don't understand why Hunter x Hunter is considered bordering on, like, mainstream when it's got some stuff in it that's, like, the normie audience would not like. Yeah, like, uh, like I, 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 I'm just thinking, like, uh, why, if I keep buying the merchandise, will the, uh, fucking creators, like, bad back, like, heal up and, like, yeah, I should continue, or... Yes. He will magically, he'll magically come back to life. Oh, I got, like, a season two, finally, of the, uh, 2011 anime. What's wrong? Keep it together. Shut the fuck up. I Damn. feel like I'm, like, psyoping all of my friends into liking Testament from Guilty Gear. I feel like I'm psyoping all my friends. I would love to play, like, Guilty Gear and, like, see... I I'm at the point where I'm, like, I may just go and, like, psyop myself and psyop all my friends into liking Guilty Gear. Somehow my 14-year-old brother watched it all. Well, depending on, like, how they are, like, I think 14's a fine age to watch that. It just depends on, like, 
Are they like fucking Twitter 14 year olds or are they actually like a 14 year old who actually knows his shit? Like, yeah, like, the thing is, is that Hunter x Hunter has some themes in it that I don't understand. Like, I I'm not saying that, you know, like a teenager can't fucking watch it, but it's one of those where it's like I don't really understand how necessarily some of these people that are like that make fun of people for fucking Uruu shit or fucking Kana shit are over here liking this fucking series because there's literally Hisoka. Like, I, I, uh, Hisoka alone. And also you could argue Illumi. He's got a brother complex. Speaking of uh, Ruru, Lulu, uh, I might like post that fucking cloud chasing meme about like her being dropped by pedophiles today and like uh, the guy posted said like, I, I haven't even watched the show, I just wanted likes. And it's like, yeah, it's like these guys are doing it for clout. Like, my god. What should we do now? Need more evidence that this whole thing is like for clout? Like, come on. Like, it, it's always for I, I almost want to feel like it's a social experiment when people do that. Anyway, that's not enough about that, uh. I feel like it's a social experiment. But, like, yeah, it's just kind of, like, I, I feel like, obviously, like, it is a shonen anime. Naturally, teenagers are going to go and like it. But, like, then again, with the, it, it's just kind of, like, so, to me, it's somewhat kind of weird when I see, like, you know, freaking, like, people that are usually into, like, My Hero Academia into this shit, but. Yeah, I get that. That's okay. Maybe yeah, you can just like play your game or like do whatever you want to do. Yeah, right I was now, gonna go and like simplify the. I was gonna go simplify these pages. Actually, I really wanna fucking do it right now. You were just like, damn it, I wanna fucking do it. Cause I just put, I just threw down like fucking three hours worth of work. The new uh fucking MHA manga anime thing. Yeah. I need to do more work tomorrow. I've worked on this fucking bullshit thing. I just don't want to fucking do anything. Bro, if I kick ass tomorrow on Friday, can I just go and take off right now? Uh, what just happened to Wario? Uh, oh, it was a shorter stream. I uh. Was well, kind of intending just to be like one level because it's a game I won't play in small doses. I want to play like this game in a little bit of Warrior Wednesday, so yeah, I'm back to Stranger Paradise. He just wanted to go and play fucking Stranger Paradise. Exactly. Watching a long series because he has a time. Make him watch <laughs> One Piece. Make him watch One Piece. No, it was One Piece. I'd rather like people just read it, but like. Oh, cool. I even I even know this elevator was here until now. But there is like a little shortcut I can take, which is cool. Venmo does crypto now? What? Uh, all websites have been like adapting crypto NFTs. Huh. That's the thing is like, I guess, make fun of all you want to, but like it's kind of inescapable at this point. Bro, at this point the entire planet is legitimately fucked. Did you delete it? No. No, like, no, no. Uh, the VOD's up. No, when a stream happens it uh, takes a, a bit for the process and be like available. There is no new drama. Sadly, no more, no new cosplay drama. Where you couldn't kill chaos because he is chaos. True. Pretty much. Yeah, I guess the only like news that's worth talking about is that the creator of the uh, GIF GIF uh, GIF died. Really? I thought he died like ten years ago. No, uh, he died today huh. of a uh, COVID complications. He was in the seventies. Like I don't know if he's vaccinated or not. Or, like. Well, you know, like, because, you know, you're hearing less and less about the whole, like, death of a co death of COVID. He's, he's, like, old, though. He's in the 70s, so. May have something to do with it, but, like. I kind of want to talk about that, because, like, something always ne never sat well with me is, like, how, like, fucking, like, these red, red circle jerkle, circle jerkle, circle jerkers would be, like, uh. Just circle joker on the fact that he, like, pronounces, like, it differently than most people do, so it's, like. I like this piece of shit, like pronouncing like pronouncing it like GIF. It's not like curly GIF. It's like okay. First off, I use it interchangeably, like so whatever. But like it bothered me because like dude like created like something that's like that's pretty revolutionary. Like exactly. And, and you guys like diss him pretty much. It's like or is Reddit ant is Reddit uncircle jerking him? Yeah, no, pretty much, uh, we just changed, uh... But yeah, like, I went to Red Thread, just, like, fucking people with, like, kind of 
being Glyde's dad because how he pronounces it, he's like, I guess he's with Jod now. <laughs> it's like, bro, bro, bro. He's like, he's a creator of like something pretty revolutionary for like something to take for granted. Like, shut the fuck up, you fucking wholesome Keanu Chungus for like fedora tipping redder. Like, my god, uh. Honestly, go. with the whole Sutu Bunny thing. I feel both parties are not not innocent here, but at the same time, I definitely do think that Bunny is probably basically just she's gonna go on a long ass hiatus. At this point, apparently, apparently she threw down a lot of text messages for Susu, and it's all discovered. Oh, Susu's kind of a bitch. I, I I read a few of those. I read a few of those, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. So pretty much, uh. Yeah, I just, I just think, I mean, if I feel like a bunch of people are just about to go on an indef 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 indefinite hiatus. I can't talk today either. Uh, damn, I like. To, I just try to talk about something and like, like kind of turn this cosplay drama. So like, fuck no. Me, I guess. No, no, you're talk. You're fine. I was just answering the comment. But yeah, no, I can't. I, I could have sworn I thought that guy died a long time ago, but I guess he didn't. Has he been sick for a while? He died. Bro, this is proof that nobody listened to me. I said he died from COVID complications. I know, but wasn't he sick like a few years back? I don't know. I could have sworn that I thought I heard he, heard he was sick. and But yeah, no. Like, what the fuck is up with Reddit? Reddit's just, Reddit's just a shitty circle jerk. Like, uh, ha ha ha, lay, lay, gift pronunciation, Keanu Chungus, uh, wholesome 100. I don't know. It's like, bro, a guy died, okay, Reddit, come, like, come on, like, a guy, a, die, a guy who, like, contributed, like, massively to the modern, it, modern computer world, we know it, and, like, you can't, like, let go of jokes for a second, like, anybody who was like, oh, hey, it's, like, stop this guy's gonna download to oblivion, because, of course, oh, like, fuck. uh... fuck? fuck even is Reddit? And, like, Reddit are people who always claim they're the good guys and shit, but it's like, dude, 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 the guy's dead here. Yeah. The guy's dead. The guy's fucking dead, come on. Yeah, like, what the hell, like... Um, people... Go ahead. Uh, like, I'm not even, like, you know, like, offended by it, because I gotta fuck up sense of humor, just more like, uh, the hypocrisy of that fucking, like, website, man. It kind of annoys me. Because, like, one second they'll all try to be, like, we're gonna be, like, woke for, like, cloud, and the next second we're, like, uh, doing this shit. Pretty much. Like, that's what kind of is annoying about it. Or, I mean, Reddit is, Reddit is, like pretty fucking bad with that sort of shit. It's like, dude, 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 like, dude. can you guys have a little bit of, like, you know, like, not being a dick for, like, five seconds? Like, oh, <laughs> gif gif jokes. Have you heard that one before? Like, bro, a guy died. Chill the- What the fuck, yo? Chill. Like, calm down. A guy fucking died. A guy died, Reddit. A guy died. And my only other thing with it is, like, he, he, God I, damn. I, I'm gonna be honest, like, majority of you Reddit fuckers would not have, like, fucking, like, any clout for shit without, you know, like, uh... Dude, though, like, I got me thinking, though, like, I'm so, like, been around the internet for a long time. I remember a time when it's, like, a GIF, GIF took forever to, like, load, like, uh... Dude. And, and the, like, once it loaded, it'd be, like, something kind of cool, because, like, people, people at least be, like, way more creative, creative with their GIFs, like... Back in the day, uh, nowadays it's just like, oh, like somebody says something like weird. Let, let me post like like the uh, GIF of like uh, this guy making the face or something. Yeah, you know, blinking like, eye guy. Michael Jackson popcorn or something. It's like, dude, like there's still some creative ass like gifts. Jeffs, don't get me wrong, but like, man, people have took this like technology for granted because like. It's the same shit over and over again. It is 100% a hundred percent of technology that people have taken for granted, and like that weird buff going to the Iron Giant. Uh, he's like a, he's like a troll, I think. Mad Maybe. over. Which I'm trying to beat him. Kalman's like, damn, we here to kill chaos today, Dad. Bro, he said like bye like five hundred times. Are you like a Midwesterner here? No, he hasn't said op yet. Uh, he hasn't said op yet. He needs to say Ope first. Ope. Ope of Gangnam Style. Ope. I'm leaving now. Bye. There we go. That'd be, that's how that's how true, true Midwesterners do it. They use the Ope 
Or the, like the Midwestern shit, right like, by you. Type, like, say, like, buy, like, Power Hunter Times, where they actually suck, like, you leave, or... Yeah, dude, you, 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 you bust my balls for that shit all, all the time anyways. Like, you bust my balls, because, like, you'll be like, are you actually gonna go in and get off the fucking phone, or are you gonna, like... Sit, are you gonna keep saying bye? Because I remember, I remember one time, like, I was on the phone with, like, a client or something, and I was like, alright, I'm heading, I'm, I'm saying bye, I'm saying bye, and you're, and you are like, are you actually gonna go say goodbye? And I'm like, yes. Okay, I can beat this guy, just the, uh, fucking... My little griffin trying to, like, interrupt my phone here. Yeah, that griffin was literally like, yo, hey, I'm gonna go be fucking annoying. But yeah, no, he finally got his phone. Yay. Yeah, I talked about my phone earlier, but, like, pretty much, like, uh, got a 22. You got an S22. Why do you look so mean? Yeah, I remember like the Watt Team and D days. They were like fucking rolled by like gifs, gifs. Hey, bitch. Come on. That don't stand a chance. God damn. Getting desperate. I have so many. Okay, so earlier today I took a boomer. I took a boomer ass selfie of Gatamon. Cause she was sitting in my lap and she had like the dumbest fucking face and it's like the funniest fucking boomer selfie. I sent it to Trash King. He's like, what the fuck is this? And like, dumb cat is dumb. It's always to get hit like twice in a row and die. This game did kind of like uh, increase the difficulty though with like the uh, everything. Like the side mission was too hard, now this tower's too hard. Should probably just like skip the ogre for now. May come back to him in a little bit. I should also probably change up my, my, uh, my job, maybe? Let's see. Am I a help? I don't think Thief's good for this. Let's see here. Uh... Let's try, uh, Let's try Mage. I like when my friends ask me what you do and I'm like streaming. Like it's so funny whenever it's like I I I do something every single day. Everyone's like, "Are you doing anything different?" No, never. But yeah, I'm glad that FedEx takes FedEx takes a long ass time to deliver these days. Like, goddamn. I try to sell my phone too uh, for parts. My old phone that's cracked. And I realized, oh yeah, I'm still paying this off on Verizon, and paying it off. To sell it be like not worth it, so yeah, whatever. Come on. Come on, follow Come on. me. Yeah, I mean I probably got a few more months of that shit, right? Like our phone bill is not like honestly very expensive. They just like, like pay it they like pay off very slowly, you know. Yeah, isn't it like you just have to like throw down like fucking like okay, twenty so bucks play. a month? 20 bucks a month or some shit. Oh, damn. You made it bleed. Yeah, so it's like barely paid off, but it's okay. It's alright. Yeah, okay, Quake is like really getting some. Quake time. Too bad Mad Ogre is kind of a dickhead. Back so. Cool. Get up, get up, Jack! Okay. You're Jack, stop being a jack off. Get it? Oh, guys, gun berserk. Oh. I'm just like. I may start chapter 5 in this game and see if I can get through a trunk of chapter 5. Hopefully, I don't get another uh, fucking three hour cutscene. Dude, I'm so happy with this. My dude. My dude. Okay, it's dead. It? Some little funny. Hey, right, Samurai Jack. Okay. Sorry I didn't show up for Wario Wednesday. I was too busy fucking... Wanted to fucking, like, blow my frickin' brains out. Mine is a weird boss you'd miss much. I figured. Hey, hey. I bet we can use it on that pedestal. Nothing, like, really that funny anymore, but... Eh. It's a proto-cube. Awesome. 
I'll keep the I'll keep it on. Time for a change. Thief mage. All right. Cool. All right. Want to kill chaos? That's cute. Thanks, me dizzy. That's Stay cute. away from the edges. I can't promise to catch you if you fall. I gotta slow down. What do you think we should do? Why does he sound like he's like I am thirty-one years old? I am going to literally just fucking like heal over and die. My name is Jack. Chaos has ruined my life. I'm thirty-one years old. Up trees. Cool, I got the ninja. You got ninja. So today on Twitter, I saw a literal fucking zoomer gatekeeping fucking people that are close to 30 going to college and doing college activities. It got 50,000 likes. I'm sitting here going, I really hope you fuckers turn 30 and you have to go back to fucking school. Bro, my mom, like, uh, went to college at, like, you know, like, 40 and, like, now it's, like, a, a good job as, like, a fucking therapist. So, like, fuck these kids. Yeah. Like, college is for, like, every age. Like, like come on now. Like, I kind of get, you know, like, most people in college are, like, you know, like, late teens, early 20s, mid-20s, maybe, but, like, yeah, there were some people where it's like, oh, if you had, I didn't get to go to college, like, early in life, and I'm going, I'm, like, a middle-aged person now, and I'm gonna, like, hey, go to college, like, fucking get shit, I don't know, get changed in a career, and it's okay, it's okay. Like, I don't understand this whole idea that, like, you're not allowed to change your career at any point in life. Like, you're 100% allowed to change whatever the hell you want to do. Like, yeah, like uh, yeah, Twitter's, like, the most brain-dead takes, get, like, a lot of likes, and it's like, who the fuck is, this is a psyop, I swear to God. It, it feels like a psyop. Okay, is my... I'm having a brain fart with the thief job tree. Like, can I not be the ninja yet, or... Double check on Maybe you gotta be a certain level. Chaos. Uh, I need, yeah, I need a... I need to either upgrade a... Do I need here? Uh... Yeah, so, oh yeah, you, you were gonna talk about this, I think, on your other stream, about the gym. How you had, like, fucking way too many people bothering you. I think I mentioned it earlier, but, uh, hang on a second. I don't have any, uh... What job is that? It looks, it's like a helmet or something? I don't see, like, a thing that looks like a helmet here. I need, like, a... You like, a... Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, community college, it's kind of like, a, I think it tr attracts more, like, people who are, like, older or, like, have kids or stuff. Not that there aren't, like, younger people in community college, but, like, you get more of, like, a diverse crowd in that, in that scene. Yeah, like, when I was in, when I took a few community college classes, um, I was in a class with, like, people who were, like, in our 50s. And they were just, like, there to fucking, like, learn shit. Also, it's just weird when people are, like, fucking gatekeeping, like, adults going and doing adult things. Like, obviously there are rare exceptions to, like, people under the age of 18 being in college. But nine times out of ten, the people that are in college are 18 and over. Like, there are rare exceptions where there's, like, you know, like, those, like, high schoolers that go to college, like, for, like, college classes, like, two days a week or some shit. I knew a few of those. Should be a let's see here. Monk. Should be a monk or should be a. Should I, let's see. Should I go for monk or should I go for warrior? I think. You can just choose for me. 
Uh, you said warrior monk. Yeah. Um, monk is gonna have a lot of like durability, right? Yeah, but warrior, do you need more like do you need more proficiency in weapons or proficiency in like strength? Uh, strength maybe. I would say go monk then. Cool. Yeah, I gotta like upgrade this here and get to the here, but Let's do that real fast. Hello, got him on. She's back. Zero viewers. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, where is like everybody tonight? Let me look. Let me look here. Let me reshare. Uh, Live now. Live that, now. I thought if we're playing Stranger Paradise. Playing Stranger. No, I mean tell like Athena. Tell like Athena we're playing Stranger Paradise, but uh. yeah, it's vibing. Shit, I forgot to go and share that. What well, was weird is like in college, I had to go back to my high school for a class. It's kind of weird. So, like my community college, would, like randomly have like classes in the high school. And it's like, man, then why, why am I back here again? I won't be here. I hate high school. I see people on rank by shared memes where it's like, you'll, you'll miss high school. It's like, no, I don't. The only person I've ever seen who says that shit is fucking Terry Hall. I'm like, yeah, because you're fucking almost 40 with no friends. Because you like uh, want to go after high schoolers, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like that's for people who like peaked in high school and like can't get the glory days back. Hey, okay. Spells. Some spells. I fired my laser. Okay, so this is like a mirror puzzle. Uh, I feel like you have to interact maybe with the little orb. Oh, there it is. Damn, okay. I'm just trying to move this thing around. So I can't even like, move it around? Okay. I feel like you have to like time it correctly. Okay, I guess I'd like four time act this time. Uh, I get revenge on Stalker. Dude, what the fuck? I like dodge that shit. Okay, oh fuck, there's another fucking asshole here. Fuck out of you. Rack. You can just knock him off the cliff. Yeah, you can, but the Mary's own the Mary's own there. Huh. Now my best moment. Our journey continues. Let me uh, fuck around with this and find out. Cool. Certain's equipped. Probably find like a better weapon, actually. I asked Rawls there's like an optimized ability here. Cool. Get up, hope. Okay. 
That sucks. So does Jack stats automatically increase when he levels up or is all just boost predict well, probably by his job I think the latter mostly. Also like wow like uh fucked up there. There's one. Time to go to work. What was I gonna say here? Okay, YouTube's like fucking video counts video counts weird because they said it's like zero viewers, but there are people in the chat, so it's like okay. Yeah, YouTube's video count just doesn't fucking work. But yeah, like uh Yeah, so today I had to go to the gym, like, way later. Because, uh, I was, like, waiting, like, for those who don't know, my, my routine is, like, I wake up, drink some coffee, watch some anime, go to, the, go to the gym, uh, come back, work, and then do a stream. But because, like, uh, I had to wait for my phone to be delivered, and I wanted to be like, oh, shit, we tried to reach you, but, like, we're at home. I, like, worked first, and then, like, worked out later on once I got, once I got my phone and, like, transfer everything. And like, man, going to the gym at different times is like kind of weird because like, uh, everybody, like there's so many like equipment hogs nowadays. Like, uh, there's so many equipment hogs at, at the time. It's, and it's like really annoying because like, it's like, dude, you're like trying to just do a workout and like, d these guys like ha are like hogging the single like machine or a piece of equipment for like 30 minutes. Like, dude, come on. And, uh. My favorite is like these like fucking like duos where it's like there's like a couple or maybe a couple of friends who are like simultaneously like hogging the machine like oh like one person does a set the next person does a set they kind of switch over and over again it's like dude okay why, why are both of you hogging the shit like why can't you two just do your own thing like me and Trash Queen like we're joining the hip all the time like but we actually do our own thing at the gym but like why do you have to hog this shit like come on yeah okay so today. I ran into this, like, couple. They looked like, they looked like they were, like, maybe early college, late high school. And it was, like, four people. And, okay, so my, yeah, so, all right, so I was kind of lucky today, because today is my just, uh, like, hip thrust and, like, glute isolation exercises, which pretty much means I am confining myself to one place for an hour, basically. I'm mad, because I need to use a sled today, because, like, there's this fucker just using a sled for, like, fucking hour straight. It's like, dude. Yeah. I, I saw that guy. I was like, what the fuck, dude? And he sits there and then talks with his buddies. And I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, you do not need to go talk to your friends at the fucking gym. I, I don't know who needs to hear this, but shut the fuck up. Yeah, like, dude, there's people, like, waiting for this, like... Maybe, like, mix things up a little bit. Doing, doing the same thing over and over at the gym is, like, kind of bad anyway. It's like... Now it's, like, one guy who, like, all I did... He, all he did was, like, go to the gym and, like, run the trail for, like, an hour. And, like, after a while, you stop losing weight. It's like, what the hell's going on? Why am I not losing weight? Surprise, Pikachu face. Yeah, like, uh... Uh... What was I gonna say here? My favorite thing, though, is, like, when you're, like, using a machine, and you, you, you've you just gotten on, and, like, uh, you're, uh... It's a leg machine, so you're on your phone, like, because I have to set my phone and everything. I, I was basically, like, sitting on my phone, like, logging into all my apps and stuff, like, you know, doing that annoying shit you have to do when you get a new phone. Uh, yeah. And this guy, like, immediately walks up to me and he's like, how long are you going to be on that? It's like, I don't know. He's like, huh? I don't know. Huh? I would tell, I, I would. Uh, I'm not done yet, please. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't know, huh? And I just, like, fucking scream at it. It's like, you didn't have to yell at me. Well, yeah, because you want to shut the fuck up and leave. Well, yeah, it's like, uh. It's like, I yelled at you because, uh, you're kind of, like, making me melt down here. And it's like. I hate when people pretend not to hear you because they don't hear the answer they want. Was he a young gym guy? No, it's a fucking middle-aged man. Oh, God, yeah, those fucking types. When it's like, dude, you clearly can fucking hear me, you fucking idiot. So... You ever... Come around to you like... Sorry. Yo, go ahead. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God, I get those guys all the time. And then they make the little cheeky comments of like, wow, you're really strong. I'm like, thank you, retard. I fucking know. Like... <laughs> Huh? 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 like getting by like a fucking asshole cop and like the cat, the cop's like, uh, what? Why are you going so many miles an hour? Like, uh, well, officer, I, uh, huh? 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 Even huh? scared got him on. Huh? 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 Like, fucking like, sound like fucking like Banjo Kazooie here. Huh? 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 Like, are, are you fucking stupid? Like, okay, so luckily that doesn't happen as much to me, but I get like the young gym guys who think that because I'm a small woman, I, I'm a short woman, 
I automatically am gonna be weak and pushed around. But no, I'm like the I, I I immediately when they start doing that shit, I just become the biggest cunt in the world to them. I don't even fucking care. I I I, I get those guys who try to do it too, like, hey, you done? Hey, 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 and they get really fucking in your face, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. I am working out here. Like I, I don't, those types legitimately deserve to be like like it, it's not like a a friendly hey you don't, hey how many more sets do you have like it's different if somebody asks hey how many more sets do you have I usually just go like three to four um and then they all just like conveniently fuck off what's that I feel oh like so I wasn't done telling the story yet oh no go for it uh, or was it a different tower yeah he's like uh he's like five minutes uh like it's like bro I am not fucking done yet. Yeah. That's so rude! What the fuck? Why well, do I have to give you like fucking like I'll be I'll be done in like one minute or five minutes, thirty nine seconds? Like bro, like just like do something else and like I don't know like like as much as I fucking hate the fucking guy in the fucking slip for like an hour, I'm not gonna like fucking bother him. Yeah. I don't get these guys have the confidence to go over to somebody while they're working on being like, oh, well, how long till you're done? Yeah. Oh, my other favorite is when they don't approach you but they creepily stare at you as you work out during your set. I get that shit all the time at the fucking bench area, and I don't even take long with benching. I take maybe, like, five, ten minutes. Like, oh my god. So, yeah, no, I was I was doing, like, benching, and, like, it was a bit of a harder day. And I had this guy just staring at me the entire fucking time, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I just stared back at him, like, you got, you got something to fucking say? Like, oh my god, like... No, I, I understand, like, if you were on there for, like, let's say, like, an hour or some shit, that's fucking different. But, like, you were, you, like, just got on that. You got, you just got on that. It's just rude, yo. Like, and, and, uh, and today, so, the, those fucking, like, little, like, high schooler motherfuckers were taking up half the fucking functional area where it's, like, people actually were trying to work out. And, like, they were taking up all this shit, flirting with their boyfriend. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, you guys are super fucking annoying. So I just muscle my ass in there, and I'm like, alright, if you guys are gonna be doing this annoying bullshit, I'm just gonna go be working out in the corner and, like, fucking doing my thing, because I don't have time for this shit. Luckily, they fucked off after, like, five minutes, but it was, like, it was, like, those, like, annoying girls who are like, oh, you're making me lift up, you're making Annoying types. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm about to become the Joker of these motherfuckers. But then the girl next to me, like, she was, she was cool with me just, like, finishing up there. And she was like, we were, she, she was nice. She was nice. She, she understood that I was like, dude, this person's really annoying. I also had a guy trying to do, like, the weirdest cross crossfit shit next to me, too, today. I, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. It's just, like, like some weird-ass crossfit shit. And I'm like, normally I would give more of a fuck, but also I'm just trying to, like you know, kind of finish what I have to do. Yeah, but I can't... I don't know why I'm not allowed to, like, do, like, a leg machine, but, like, uh, the fact that, uh... People can get away with, like, doing this whole, like, fucking, like, oh, let's... Let's be two people who hog the machine at the same time, or, like, do this workout for, like, an hour straight. It's like, okay. The only time what, I... What do I get targeted for? Yeah, it's fucking weird. I, I don't understand that shit, period. Uh, only time, I'm gonna say right now, it's okay if you take a little bit longer on the equipment is, in my honest opinion, fucking squat and deadlift area. Though I do think- okay, so there is a- there's a woman who uses the squat and deadlift area at our fucking gym, and she's only- she does not need to use the barbell for everything, okay? She literally could use, like, the functional equipment area, some dumbbells, and she would actually probably get a better workout with that. But no, she spent- she spent two hours at the gym! Like, hogging a fucking ramp when there was a whole line of people. I was like, oh my god, woman, dude, you're literally hogging this area. And she'll sit there and she starts like, like, and I'm just I'm like, dude, dude, you're literally hogging this shit from everybody. Like, you know, I try to go and be as quick as I fucking can, but like, you know, obviously like lifting what I lift is not easy fucking shit. It is not easy for someone of my size to be out here lifting 300 pounds. And it's like... Usually everyone's pretty chill with it, but this lady was like literally hogging this area for two hours. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Because like, I came, I was like, finished my shit, went to go work on my other shit, came back, and I was like, she is still on that same goddamn rack. Like, oh my god. Like, uh, 
it's one of those things where if she, she would get a better workout if she was not actually using that using that area she could easily go and use a barbell in the functional equipment area get two bumper plates and she would have a great fucking workout but i'm like dude like well our gym just needs more fucking racks i swear to god because like there's absolutely like they only have six of them which, like, if you go during an off time, it's fine. But if you go during, like, peak hours, you're waiting, like, 20, 30 minutes for a fucking rack. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Our gym could probably afford to have more equipment in there. But, yes, like, yeah, like... Yeah. They're too busy fucking making, like, fucking, like, three fucking fitness studios for fucking, you know, Karens and shit to fucking do their, like... To do their fucking Zumba classes and shit. To, like, not, you know fucking provide equipment like i'm sorry our my old gym my athletic club in bowling green was kind of bad about this too they only had two they only had four platforms two platforms four squat racks now and unfortunately like everyone that came in there was always the dude bros that would kind of like hog this shit for like way too damn long but like we used to get too many people that like to hog shit at our fucking gym, and it's, I, I just sit there and I'm like, dude, you do not need to go and take an hour and a half to lift 60 pounds. You don't. You don't. If you are taking an hour and a half to lift 60 fucking pounds, that's way too long of a break for what the fuck you're doing. That's just my two cents on it. Like, I'm like, are you even doing a workout right now? I'm just like... My other personal favorite is when, like... There was a guy, there, there's some guys at my gym that like to kind of just like talk and like shit when you're like trying to fucking lift and I'm like, dude, please. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying, I don't really like it when people talk to me at the gym personally because I just get really nervous. I just don't. I don't like it when people talk to me at the gym. When like, there's these guys that will try to go and like just talk to you about, but not even like critiquing your form, but they just start talking to you about form stuff. I'm like, dude, I appreciate it trying to lift here um and i was like trying to be really nice about it i'm like i know you don't mean harm but i'm like it, it, context here please just let me do my thing um like ah, uh, i like my gym because it's cheap i like my oh shit. i like my gym because like there's there's a lot of equipment and like it's <coughs> it's pretty good but uh, some of the people that come through there are just really fucking annoying. My other favorite was when a, a, when a girl tried to woman splay my squats and I was sitting here like, bro, you literally do not, like, your form is nowhere near as good as mine. Like, I've seen your squats. I've seen how you do it. You are literally doing it worse than I am, but okay, honey. Um, and she tried to, like, fucking woman splain me. And I was like, you're trying to just go and intimidate me at this point, right? Please fuck off. Now I just got tired of her shit. Now she, now I think she complimented me like a week ago on my socks. I was like, I remember who the fuck you are. You're the un, you're that one bitch. Um. Also, okay, all right. I've got another fucking gym pet peeve that I see at my gym, and I'm like, ladies, please do not fucking do this. I swear to Christ. I, my, my brother in Christ. The squat rack is not where you do your hip thrusts. My sister in Christ, that is not where you do your hip thrust. You know where you fucking do it? In the functional area. Okay, so there's this girl. She, like, ugh, bless her heart. But I was just like, girl, you're literally using a squat rack for a hip thrust. My other favorite is when they use a squat rack for shoulder presses. It's like, bro, we literally have a shoulder press machine. We literally have a bar that you can pick up and do your shoulder presses with. That is, like, so much fucking better in my opinion. And honestly, it, 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 hits, it hits the area so much better. But you're over here. Using the fucking squat rack. My brother in Christ. Stop fucking doing that. Anyways, rant over. Ah, thank God. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, there's just like a bunch of stuff I want to say, but I was calling for you to get in there and it's kind of like a... I think we're safe. What should I, had, like, I have a lot hilarious. to say. Well, what else did you want to say? No, I was just responding to the comment here. Like, my dad's membership at 24 Hour Fitness is older than me. Uh, what? Like, like a... I kind of wish our gym was like 24 hours. Like, I kind of wish it was like. It may have been like 24 hours, but like, you know, like open till like, I don't know, midnight or something because like. I would love to just like maybe go like stream earlier and go to the gym like later or something, you know, like uh, avoid the crowds, you know? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, oh, go ahead. But no, you gotta like kind of do it earlier because like. 
Were they open until? Uh, that's a good fucking question. I think it's like eight or something. No, they're open till midnight. Really? Yeah. Are they open till midnight? Yeah. No, the one on North Nevada Avenue, right? Yeah. Yeah, supposedly midnight. Oh, like I thought it was like open. Maybe like they changed it because of COVID hour or something. But like, uh, I don't want to change my schedule necessarily because like the time I usually go to is like fine. But like, I went I went like at three o'clock this today because I had to wait for my phone. So but yeah, I know there's like a lot of like point where I Honestly, like I, I was considering a, I was considering this one per this one place. I honestly like. If it didn't look so shitty, I honestly would have gotten a membership there. It, it's one of those where it was like, okay, I, I, if it wasn't $35 for like mid-tier shit in like a really, really, really limited selection, I would have probably honestly gone with it versus, versus my, my gym is like fucking like 20 bucks a month for both of us for, you know, all that versus $70 a month. Like... Unfortunately, though, that gym was basically a powerlifting gym, so I'm like, you know, I was half tempted to honestly go and consider going to that gym, but I decided not to. I like how, like, uh, you can kill the Grim Reaper by knocking off the cliff, even though it's slow, it can float. Seems legit. Wait, let's go. How the fuck do you get off? Yeah, I feel like the bridge is, like, flickering. It's like, uh... Okay, I'm just like, yeah, I can destroy the Christmas. Oh! That makes sense. Yeah, like, apparently now, uh... Okay, uh... How did I get here? Hey, what? How did, I get, how did I get back? Yeah, no, they're apparently back to, like, 12 a.m. on the weekdays, and then on weekends, uh, Saturday 8 p.m., Sunday 6 p.m. Like, it's almost one of those where it's just, like, it's tempting to fucking go, la go later, like, you know, if we went late, but at the same time, I'm like... Yeah, get me out here. I'm gonna get off here. Uh, should I try to Google it? Yeah, like... What dungeon are you in? Uh, type in Tom Ancy, uh, Str Stranger Paradise stuck on platform or something? I don't know, like... like is this, like, a glitch or something? Like, there there's, like, a bridge and it kind of faded, so it's, like... I kind of feel like there's like a purpose here, like. All right. Open okay, there we go. Oh, okay, never mind. That was weird. But yeah, like. Dude, I wish our gym was like, cur like they, they had 24 hours, so it was like crypted hours. Like, basically, my old gym at Bowling Green was definitely bordering on crypted hours up until like literally COVID happened. Like, they were open till like 2 o'clock in the morning for some reason. Oh shit, got them unlocked the camera. Yeah, I don't know, they like, uh. I don't know, they return normal hours or not. Or not. Some places like, uh. Never return normal hours hour, kind of sucks. Like, I miss 24 hour Walmart so much, man. Like, but there was like a point where it was like, fucking, like, Walmart was like only open until like 8 o'clock at night. It's like, dude, this is Walmart. Why do you have like normie hours? Like, what is this? That was so weird when it was only open till like 8. It was actually only open till like 8 30. And like, everyone that like, did it oh that everyone that was that hated going during those hours always fucking like every you know the people that would honestly definitely go shopping late at night like you know those types of people you know the people that were definitely going shopping late at night they were the people that were like you know they'd come in at like seven o'clock seven thirty like almost closing hours and shop in the last 45 minutes because they didn't want to deal with any of the crowds that was such a stupid time I remember when they were like let's go limit hours due to covid and like Fucking like farm, like fucking put a bunch of people in like a shopping center all at once. Yeah, it's kind of productive. But like my favorite thing was like uh, I miss going to Walmart like three a.m. and just seeing like the weird shit that would be there. Dude, there was so much weird shit that fucking happened at Walmart. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. I'm scared. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Uh, but yeah, like, oh, jeez. Cool. I, I can, I'm able to, like, use the come up now. I don't know if I kicked the camera or if it was Gatamon's fuckery. I, I want to say it was almost Gatamon's fuck, fuckery. <laughs> My sister in Christ. <laughs> I'm going to start using that when I need to refer to woman. Wait, hold on, like, do I need something else to become a monk? Or let me see here. Let me look at the job tree. You used to play the game here they care. Dude, honestly, oh my god, I also wish more people would fucking use the kid care. Did I ever tell you guys the story about the kid who almost made me drop 165 pounds on myself? Oh, I also need a Lancer. Uh. People at Walmart, yeah. Yeah, no, one time I was, uh, I was benching, and I was on, like, my, like, 80%, which is 165, and I was... I, I was literally third rep in my set. Some little kid came by my fucking bench and started standing there. And I said, fuck off to this little, to this kid. He still stood there. I was like, uh -huh. and finally his dad fucking realized. I was like, I was about to go and fucking kick your damn kid. If you're going to go and fucking, you know, like stand in front of somebody who was definitely trying to work out. And it was like, I don't know if the kid was younger than 13 or not, but I'm like, dude, even if your kid was 13, he should not be, like, fucking, like, doing this weird fuckery. I level up this uh, ability, because it's, it's kind of like, a, I have a shitty-ass, like, lance, not gonna lie here. Actually, hang on. God of One has, oh, God of a fuck, kind of a dick. She kind of does her, she kind of does her own little fuckery. Yeah, like, people at Walmart just, like, uh, that's, that website's pretty true. Especially in, like, a small towns, like, where, where I used to live. Where it's the only place you can shop, like, you see some weird people there. Yeah, there are some weird people, like, it's so funny, because, like, like, the, those people are 100% true. You just have to go to certain Walmarts for it to exist. It's your, like, favorite, like, Walmart trope, like, proper. I don't like the one who just is in her pajamas legitimately not giving a flying fuck. I used to hate people like that, but now it's like, oh, okay, I get it now. Dude, I, I used to fucking hate those people too, and I used to think it was a fucking gag. But then, like, now that I'm, like, a depressed fucking millennial, I'm like, dude, I fucking understand Sorry. the people that go to the, gym and, to the Walmart in pajamas. I go to Walmart in pajamas sometimes. Not even gonna lie. Also, oh my fucking god. So... I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck was up with people at the fucking mall we were at today. Jesus Christ. So, I, now luckily, I made it look like I was on the phone, which I actually was on the phone. I was on a Zoom call with somebody, okay? I was on a fucking Zoom call with someone. I'm walking in, and I'm like, Trash King walks so much faster than I do, so he was already like, long inside. I was, uh, grabbing something. And so I was a little bit later than he was. I walk in. And, like, five different dudes were like, damn to me. And I'm like, Jesus, fuck. I am just trying to fucking exist here. I am on the phone. What the fuck is wrong with you? It gets even better. Like, I'm hit up going into the fuck, into the mall. Hit up walking out of the mall. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I am just trying to grill here. What the fuck? I like how I was, like, we're talking about, like, Walmart. Like, our favorite Walmart tropes. And you just, like, change the subject. Sorry. I didn't even get a chance to say my favorite trope yet. Go say your favorite trope. Uh... Come on. Come on, follow me. Uh, hopefully you guys, like, are so okay with me still talking about this, so. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just hate it when, like, uh, I'm trying to contribute a subject and, like, uh, and the subjects change. It's like, okay, we're bringing something down, I'm gonna feel awkward. Sorry. Are you just kind of a really big pet peeve of mine? Well, then talk. My favorite trope was, like, uh, these parents who have a kid who looks like he's, like, fucking 13 years old and kids like riding in the fucking big shopping riding in the shopping cart like they're fucking like four or something bro those are my favorites too like bro you're, how's that even comfortable like your kid's like too old to be in a shopping cart i'm sorry you're like right right like you're how do they fit how does a 13 year old fit in the fucking shopping cart well it's in the big parts in like the basket part not the uh, like the little like uh upper part where like babies fit Oh, okay, that makes more sense then. Even so, okay, 
my brother fucking was weird and he fucking liked to sit in the fucking he sat in like the fucking okay you know those carts where you have like the car and shit <laughs> sitting in those till like way too old of an age and I was like Jesus Christ like those are funny though looks like Target is getting in the Kirby Spirit speaking of which y'all two are day. But yeah, no, I, I always like those types. It, you don't see it as much, like, in certain areas. I feel like that's definitely a Kentucky thing, but those are other- that's another trope that I fucking like. Uh, right, yeah, like, how would you, like, understand, like, where I'm coming from? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. I knew a kid in high school was the size of Tyler and looked like one, no joke. That's a- What the fuck? It's like a case of, like, in case of dwarfism right there. Yeah, like goddamn. Okay. What a tiny ass motherfucker. Okay, I killed like a bunch of these. Can I? Can I level up my lancer? Lancer at all? Or? Time for a I don't know. This is the one. Uh, now it's the, the dreaded leveling up fucking job classes, so you can fucking get new job classes. Yeah, it's like uh, oh, like the. Get this job class real one. You have to upgrade this job class you don't really care for. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. I feel like Final Fantasy V is something like that. So I know how annoying it can be. So we have Dragoon too, huh? Dragoon. Cool. Cool. Luckily, I'm getting pretty close. Look at her. I finally made a sequel to the iconic Mario and Luigi theme balls, the Kirby balls. Uh, I need to swing back to Target and see Dude, if they exist. We need to go to Target. Unfortunately, that's on the other side of town, though. Yeah, we have, like, Target's, like, too close where we live. Yeah, it's it's Walmart that's closer. Like, the Target that we have is really fucking nice. But unfortunately, it's on the other side of town. And, like, the shopping center that you have to go through to go and fucking get to there kind of sucks. Mmm... <sighs> But it has a GameStop with like, I remember, it was a GameStop where I bought, uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors, and that guy like legit said it was like, oh dude, that game is my favorite game ever! That was, that was funny. But yeah, I do miss... Okay, this is the Wendy's. Yes. Yeah, one of my buddies is talking about dating in the year 2022, and I'm like, I'm sorry. At least we have time to take a breather. Just kind of like, it's hard to find somebody in the current year. Yeah, unfortunately. Honestly, like, it is for people, like, I, I couldn't imagine honestly fucking dating in the current year, gonna be honest with you. Damn! I like Lance Roll, I don't know why. I like how five minute how five minutes ago you were like I hate I, I kind of want to do Lancer. This is kind of kind of lame. This is kind of lame. Me five minutes later, me the bestie. Right, Lance, Lancing. Yeah, people just say it would kind of suck, but pretty good for me, honest. To be fair, you were good with the Halberd and Demon Souls, so like maybe maybe it is just like kind of because like you're good with that build. I know Halberds are kind of different, but you know that's cool. You know, right, Goma? Also, fuck, Trails and this guy keeps info dumping on me. I never dated in my life. I feel like I missed out on high school and I hate myself. Uh, yeah, I missed out on high school dating too, so don't worry. Like, it's a combination of me being way too socially awkward and like fucking people in my hometown is being kind of like fucking an asshole, so. Almost disappointed, Jack. I mean, obviously, like, fucking teen love is romanticized to death and, like, never works out half the time. I can only think of, like, one couple in high school who are still together this day. Hope it's good. Yeah. 
seen something this clean. It's very rare for that to honestly go and work out. I don't feel like you're really missing much, because a lot of people in high school are just kind of douchebags, and... Yeah. I could use a break. Oh shit, save point. No, actually, like... Every like girl in high school I tried to get every girl in high school who seemed they who seemed like they kinda liked me had like an asshole parent who wouldn't let me like see them, so I it kinda like just fell apart. Like every other like guy I knew like fucking had fucking dated girls whose parents didn't not give a flying fuck, but uh right. I ended up with the fucking people with the fucking like you know, like fucking shotgun with the holding the shotgun. Like, bro, she's a teenager. Let her date. Let her date people her age. Oh, shit. Hey, Jack. <clears throat> when did you teach Sarah that song? It's a classic. Everyone knows it. <laughs> it's like smoke in the water. <laughs> Oh shit. The King Griffin. Get the Chimera. Back to basics. I hate yeah, like. I was even like too too weird for the weird kids. Or like I'd get some I was gonna get somebody and like they're like fucking like nosy ass for and had to run it. Oh yeah, that was fucking. I remember that shit. That was fucking annoying. Cause I came. I'm, I'm a guy who came by his tongue. So I was like, I see like annoying ass like Brynn like trying to like talk walk me. I'm gonna call it out. I'm like I'm gonna call it out the person. I'm like what the fuck? I don't date you anymore. You bitch! I can fucking see. I got fucking eyes. You know. Lance is really good for this battle. I think. I'm gonna poke the lion. This guy seems pretty. Three forts so far, just like a stronger grip than Bono. Perhaps. Like yeah, I don't know. I there were way too many basic ass motherfuckers in my high school. Like I was such a weird motherfucker in high school, but like I was good at sports, so like I kind of got like a pass. I'll do that. Yeah, do it right now. It's all good. Hi, Jack Chaos loves his loves his music. My high school is kind of boring. Like I always hear crazy stories. Meanwhile, the best I got is two kids who were fornicating under a stairway during passing time. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like the craziest. I I know that there was some like people fucking under the stairs in mine. And as well, we had a lot of drug dog. We had a lot of drug dogs show up because a lot of people were doing drugs in my school. Um, but we didn't have like anything too crazy except for my friend group. Like the my first experience of people being poly was actually from uh, like high school because my best friend was like in a relationship with a girl and also had a boyfriend. And then it got really even more kind of crazy because she got knocked up by the boyfriend. Yeah, my two dates in high school were both short and messy. One chick used me for a homecoming date. Oh, yeah. yeah! There's plenty of times where I guess got used, where it's like, oh, used me for a ride or something, or like, didn't like me for another reason. For him. It's just, it's kind of, that's kind of painful, like, a lie. Like, something I had so so thinking about this day. Uh. It's such a bullshit when people fucking do that. It's like, oh, I'm just, you know, gonna go and fucking use somebody for- to my advantage so I can go be with this girl, like, okay. Yeah, apparently, like, I want to be honest, I- I went to fucking, like, 
high school dances and shit with my friends. I did not go really with, like, a date. I just went with my friends because that's what we just fucking did. Like, it was weird because, like, kind of basically, like, for, like, freshman, sophomore, junior year, it was me and the girls. Like, we just kind of had that set up. And, like, all of us were too socially awkward to go and get a boyfriend, so we all just went to the dances together. Oh, high school. Oh, go ahead. Well, in high school, though, Maxwell, in my high school, like, uh, people just, like, cheat on each other. They didn't, they didn't like, do this whole poly stuff. No, they, they were not cheating or anything. They legitimately were in a poly relationship. I don't know how the fuck they did it. I mean, it was, like, really chaotic and dramatic, so I'm not really surprised, but... Let's watch it die. Yeah, online online classes is unfortunately the par for the course these days with college, sadly. Cool. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck they did it. They just were poly That's and the... no chaos. Gosh, no chaos. No crystal. I like chaos. how they're all wearing masks, except for the woman. No bitches. Wait, what is she doing? I know where we yeah, are. Yeah. Haven't you said like five times already, bitch? I'm all for like poly relations existing. Very like poly relationship about known kind of fell apart. Check it out. If you can make it work, it go for it. Own. But it's not for everybody. Logging in. Logging in. Welcome. Are you the owners of this terminal? What? Hmm. We have been waiting for you. Commencing transport. Okay. <laughs> transport to Flying Fortress. Complete. <laughs> Come to the Flying Fortress. I don't know. The only, like, poly couple that I know of that I think is working out is this one girl. But she makes so many fucking statuses on Twitter about like how being poly and stuff that it almost kind of feels a little bit like a cope. Yeah. Like she gets so mad when people like a, a don't get it, which I mean like I'm sorry most unfortunately most normies are not going to understand it. I got a pro Jared. That was such a weird thing. And I do think that, like, it, it, if you are going to go and do that, just make sure you know what the fuck you're getting into. Because I feel like a lot of people don't. I don't know. I I don't mind fucking around, but if there's any, like, there, there's no fee-fees there. Sorry, I, I, cannot phys I cannot physically, like, handle, like, two- I don't know how people can fucking handle two romantic partners, honestly. It just seems hard. I was going to say, yeah, I feel like there's something I was going to say about that. Dating as well with memories, but I don't know. Memories being used. Yeah, I already talked about that. I was like, this will be a walk in the park. Come on, but watch yourselves. That's what's hard. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, it, I mean, I, I guess if you could work it out for the long term and have that like set up and shit, then cool. But yeah, not everybody's gonna fucking want that. I mean, I guess it's trying. That's that's you know different. It also, yeah, it just seems like it would be a lot of work. Where, where did we get high school from? I'm trying to remember. Embrace the Lance Armstrong, lol. Oh, talk about dating in high school. Is there any other weird shit that ever happened in your high school? Like weird dating shit that people did? Uh, not that I can remember. I'm trying to think, other than like the weird poly, other than like the poly shit, like I can't think of anything. Like, I'm gonna be honest, my friends in high school were like weird as fuck. All my friends in high school were fucking weird. Like, we were all like socially inept as fuck. Like, one of my friends from high school, to this day, 
made a made a very like peak horse girl post like two years ago on social media and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Look at her. No. What do you want to say? I think it's cute. Look at her. She's hanging out. What the fuck is this? What? Creepy. That's so creepy. You ever just like, oh shit, I think my friend's Vegas trip was this week. Oops, I kind of forgot. Not oh. gonna lie. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, we can't afford that. I'm gonna be honest, I can't fucking afford that right now. We got stuff to pay off shit to do. Yeah, I feel like he understands. I'm like, dude, I'll just like give you a birthday gift next time I fucking see you. I probably, I, I, it, eh. I'm gonna be honest, I can't really afford that right now. Yeah, basically we had a guy who's like birthday party in Vegas it was be in January, but it got delayed due to COVID, but. I forgot all about it. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about it too until literally like today. I was like, shit, why the fuck? Because I sent him something, I'm like, why haven't I heard from this guy in like a few hours? And then I was like, oh shit, his birthday thing is this week, whoops. I gotta feel it. Oh shit. I just kind of forgot about myself. I'm gonna be honest, I definitely forgot. Wow, that's like Tom Berry's way, way easier now. Oh yeah, you're not getting your ass kicked by the Tom Berry. What is in your hands? Are those like Morocco? They look Shit. like Morocco's, dude. They had to like fucking put my head on there and like it's exploded. That's cool. That was pretty cool. Wait, what the fuck is he holding in his hands? Like pizza cuffs. Oh, okay. They, uh, I'm sorry. They kind of look like they look like Morocco's. Okay. The inside. fucking thing looks like a Morocco. <laughs> kind of dumb. Lower that. Why do I have a big wedgie? Being a Cena once, you get the five dollars, you get the masculine feminine urge to like break the machine, and get the money back. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I went to Vegas in like early last year. I didn't really get to do that much because it was like right before like, kind of like while while COVID was like still like a threat to me, but uh. Yeah, I only like put a few dollars in the machines. I don't really like fuck around with it. Right now, I don't really feel like gambling. Oh god. I would be against like seeing this friend, but like. I don't know. It's like I wouldn't be against it. I just don't really have the money to go to Vegas. Yeah, it's like either I pay money to like fly on a plane, which is expensive, or I have to drive for like 12 hours, which I don't want to do. Yeah. It's just like, and also, I just don't really feel like leaving the house right now. I've gone into a weird antisocial phase. This is the one. All right. Yeah, that friend, I kind of want to like, I don't know. I want to see him again. I just want him like stay over for like a, a week or so. Yeah, like nothing against him. He's, it's just, it's just one of those pe people that it's like. I like hanging out with you, but I don't like hanging out with you for a long time. There's only, like, one friend that I can tolerate having around for, like, more than a week. Yeah, like... Yeah, it's, like, one of those guys where I'd be, like, hang out for a few days, he's kind of want to, like, kill him. I kind of felt bad for getting angry at him. I kind of want to bury the hatchet, but, like... You know how it is. Yeah. They're just, like, few friends you, like, really live with. Yeah, there's only... That, that's why it's, like, dude, we can never, ever, ever do, like any of that poly sort of shit because both of us are like dude we probably would honestly like kill the third person after like a few days honestly all right gambling at it from god shit aren't we i never spent a dime that's good because like people can spend like a lot of money on those gotcha games yeah it, it's it's a little predatory if you're if you're the gambling type honestly like i've never seen really the appeal of gotcha games because i'm gonna be honest most of them end up getting shut down after a while did y'all hear about Drago? Well, I don't know if Dragalia lost as a gotcha game, but that got fucking shut down. Yeah, it's like, I like 
Genshin and Fate Grand Order, but I'm, I'm not gonna spend money to roll for like my favorite waifus and husband those. Yeah, I'm like, I could put that money towards like, you know, buying physical fucking games. Um. Not addiction until money's involved. You're, you, you honestly, you're kind of right there. I also got gone one just fell asleep. She's like, I just saw chaos. I must go and sleep. Nah, she likes my warm pants. I just think she's just here to kill chaos. That's the narrative we're going with here. We can set up base here. Yeah, we're gonna turn on the water. Turn on the water. Look, cubes. I could use a break. I could use a break. Why does he need a break? Does he, does he, or can he not handle it? Good job, assassin. Good job, tyrant. Huh. huh. I uh, like, like oh, like uh, I want the sexy wife from Genshin. It's like, bro, like, for, for the amount of money I spent on, like, gotcha games, I could, like, just buy a cosplay of the character and, like, I don't know, ever dress up as it, I don't know. I guess they can have sex. Why are Zoro and, San Zoro and Santi stage actors always so close to each other? Like, bro, this gay as hell. <laughs> bro, I don't remember much from the One Piece theme part, but I do remember those two were standing, standing pretty damn close to each other. Maybe they know know the Yahweh yeah, audience. Oh god, oh god, oh god, fuck, fuck, fuck! Get up, Jack. Yeah, these are one yeah, hundred percent. The two actors, like, definitely were doing that shit. Uh when we were fucking there. It's the same fucking actors, I remember, because then Nami's boobs were really fucking big and they were I just remember cause then Nami then Nami gave me a hug and her boobs were really big. Like, for a Japanese girl, she was very tiny, but she had these giant-ass boobs. Damn, like, he had full health and he just died. He's just like, I'm just gonna go kill myself now. Like, uh, let's see here, I was gonna say, uh... Uh, yeah, I kinda get tired of, like, One Piece Cloud accounts, just, like, posting the same, like, rant about, like, how Chopper looked better in the pre-time skip. It's like, I agree, but, like, Jesus Christ, it's been, like, ten years. See anything following us? I could keep going. No, I Yassification! Uh, it probably doesn't look as good in like the anime, but manga looks trying. Mean. He's cute. He just learned how to put on clothes. This is the one. Oh, yeah. Chopper's yassification. Chopper's yassification, dude. He just he just went from being chonker to baby. He just lost some weight. The only honestly One Piece trans One Piece time skip, I just don't really aesthetically like, but it has to exist for like lore reasons as Frankie's. I don't mind about I agree. Let's go. He's ready for anything. Like, I understand why, because he's literally a fucking cyborg, but it just doesn't look very good. I I, I can I, I've inhaled enough copium that I'm okay with Sanji with facial hair. Uh Zoro with might with bigger titties is definitely fine with me. Um Am I weird for liking both long hair Nami and short hair Nami? Because both of them look fine. I was tired of like fucking cloud accounts like getting bitching about that. I guess it works, you know. Okay, I think I need to like actually like kill the fodder first for fight Tomberry. Probably. Yeah, I think the uh, Japanese titty size has grown bigger over time. That's what I heard. Time to go to work. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's that's cool. That's cool. Oh shit. I don't know if they, they didn't look fake. That's the thing. Well, I don't know if they were fake. Shadow, they were uh, very big. I hate the shadow enemies because if you get too close to them, sometimes they'll like fucking destroy you. you can't attack them. We got company. Let's make company. This entertaining. Ooh, yeah. Love you. I love you too. Okay, cool. Killed the shadows. Might be in big trouble. We 
Master Tonberry. The Master Tonberry tastes like Master Tonberry. Ah, oh, shit, the game kicked me out. I forgot the strategy to defeat Master Tonberry is like to spam Aragon him and like drain it, drain his like gauge. Oh. You don't want to fight him head on. Let's be cheap with him, just cheese him. Valid. Why is this not able to sink? What? Okay, so I killed the, uh... It's kinda sad, though. I was way more excited for this game than what's like, 16 so far. Now, to be fair, I haven't really seen much of 16, but... Still. Yeah, I'm actually like kind of surprised that there has not been much. Look at her. Look at her living her best life. Yeah. All the MGR goods that see Miss Mink Miss Miller every time Cook Nami is a franchise hostage. Yeah. I just want a sequel to Melgar Rising, damn it. Better yet, I wish I could have seen like what could have been a Melgar Rising because I like, I love the final product. Don't get me wrong, but like for those who don't know, Melgar Rising was originally supposed to take place between like two and four. It kind of explained like how Ryan became a cyborg ninja. Like it and explained how he rescued Sunny from the Patriots. So uh, that been kind of cool to see. Fortunately, like uh, they never made that game. Pain. <laughs> Pain. I wish I did. Like, I would love to see, like, the original c concept of, like, Mel Gear Rising. Maybe it's, like, maybe in Konami there's, like, a incomplete file of it or something. It's, like, Lost Media or something. I don't know, but, like... Kind of go out from time to time. Yeah! This, I wish one more Metal Gear game. Like, I love Metal Gear Rising, but I do feel like we were slightly robbed. We were. Where's, uh, Tom Barry at? Yeah, I love, like, doing that. Yeah. Uh, I have people I have mentioned Melgar Survive recently way too much because like I keep forgetting the game exists because like it was like a game where it's like oh Melgar Survive has like zombies and it. it's like an online game it's like everybody's like this looks stupid Comes damn out, this is stupid yeah I, that was one I definitely forgot it just felt like fucking Mel Gear. Like Konami trying to capitalize on the whole like zombie fad like way too late. Yeah, it was like it was like a decade late, wasn't it? Was that only like a couple years back? I think Sura came in like what, 2016, 2015, like so it was like five years too late. Like if it came out like early 2010s and like was non canon, which I think it's already non canon, but like I think it'd been like way more well received, it's like okay. It's actually twenty eighteen when it came out. Twenty eighteen, damn. Three dollars, three dollars on eBay for Xbox One copy. Three dollars. It's just like one of those games where it's like, okay, uh, I get Mel Gear has had some weird non canon games before, like they have like a card game, uh, Acid, they have like a 
Oh, sorry. They have like a non-canon sequel where Big Boss is a cyborg. They have a like a bunch of shit, but like zombies really how fucking generic. That's the thing. It's 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 not even like a good fucking like. Oh hey, here's a here's a new Metal Gear game. It's just painfully generic. Like if it's like the two thousands, like they would like just put that game as like a bonus mode and like. MGS5 or something like how like MGS2 substance had like a, had like a skateboarding game. Oh yeah, for sure they would have. That wasn't worth its own game. Same with quiet. Honestly, Melgar Dang Sam would be kind of funny. Like, just some like weird non canon game where like all the fucking girls from Melgar are like, I don't know, I get to date them like Meryl, like, uh, quiet. Like, it's like some weird time paradox where all these like girls are like in the same time period. Eva, Mei Ling, Paz, I guess. Uh, Is she the bomb? She's the bomb, that bomb ass pussy, yeah. Uh. She got the bomb ass pussy. The boss is there. Time to go to work. Good. As a milk representation. Uh, Hell yeah. God damn it. Uh. And I'll have Cass as like a date often too because uh. Be ready for anything. That shit's gay. Uh. I think it's so cool. Like I don't know. It should have happened. Another girl I forgot, forgot Mel Gear who on the first game was like uh Nugger Saul was like Natasha and Asasha, whatever her name was with Oh the yeah. Red. He's cool, huh? She was cool. Time for a change. Time for a change. <laughs> Naomi, of course, Ready uh Ready to try again? <laughs> Oh yeah, Meryl's good. I love Meryl. She got a great butt. I probably pick Eva. Right. Oh, I like Eva. I like Eva as well. I'll play Metal Gear Solid 3 sometime soon. Because I got that game. I kind of want to play it at the point. You really should. Because Metal Gear Solid 35th anniversary and there's like current events and make it kind of relevant. It's like Russia, so it's like, yeah, might as well. Yeah, it's like spam arrow guy here. I just like I fucking like fucking use wind, knock Tom Berger into the water, and he died. He just like that was amazing. Killed himself. Tom Berger's like I'm gonna kill myself now. I guess Tom Berger can't swim. Tom Berger's got the douchebag fruit. Can't swim. Why are you so baby? Somebody's a little goblin. He's my little goblin. You are. Okay, so actually the uh this the tower doesn't have a side quest, so I can move on to the next one. Sweet. I kinda dig. Actually, yeah, before I go, it's probably like maybe uh Let's go to Cornelia and like talk to Smithy or something. Boy. This man on some low, low, low equipment while I'm at it. There we go. That took way too long to kill. Right. Damn, shoddy, okay. We've got like 3,000 experience points in like one fucking battle. Which, for like reference, is like three levels in this game. Right, I'm quite a lot of nice asses. Hell yeah. I liked Quiet, but she felt very much like wasn't finished as a character. Yeah, she didn't do that much. Like, I like the uh, conspiracy theory that people had. Oh, hang on. Let's read this here. 
I think conspiracy theory people had like beforehand that uh or MGS5 Phantom Pain came, came out that Chico was quiet. Like Chico had like a sex chain surgery and became like a uh, quiet. That was a that was a great fucking like game theory that was like, man, I wish that was fucking true. And people were using like tweets of Kojima's like Twitter confirm like, oh like farewell sausage, the picture of him eating sausage. <sighs> Shit. Chaos. <clears throat> hey, who's this? Hold up, there's another woman in this shit? It's a hologram goth GF? What's going on here? Hold up, there's more women in this game? Is there a goth girlfriend here? Yeah, why is there a goth chick here? I mean, this really is 2006. Like, <laughs> why is Raven, Raven from Teen Titans just, like, hanging out? What's going on? Fuck. Cool, I absolutely love it. Addicted to Monument, that's about an horror universe where Rockefeller, James Dean, and Hillary Clinton became presidents. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. A girl and a gamer? Whoa. <laughs> Clouds? How high up are we? Oh shit, we're in a space station. Okay. Or else why would that thing send us here? The crystal is just up these stairs. I think. You think? Or you hope? Both. Yes. Space station, okay. Okay. It no, looks like we're in dead space now, like. I swear to god, this is like a D D game. They can't be pretty hilarious. And they the fucking girls like a fucking like player or something. Oh my god, please! Speaking of D D games, uh, the tiny Tina games have to come out soon. Skyregard V's hers pretty decent. Huh. Yeah, I forgot the game existed until like uh it's like, oh it's about to come out. Huh. Oh the only Borderlands game I really like played all of was like two. I I played like a little bit of the first one, I think it too far. I haven't played three yet, or the pre-sequel. But it's a series I always kind of appreciate, even though, like, I know it's, I know it's like, meme culture is kind of cringy, but, like, I always like the character designs and the characters themselves. Like yeah, Tiny Tina, one time, like, I saw YouTubers, like, talking about, like, PS5 porn. I feel like people, a lot of people use their PSR for porn and, and like there's like an article talking about like the most searched for characters and like uh I guess that guy never heard what Wolf 34 is because his reaction to the characters is just kind of like fucking hilarious it's like wait why are people looking up porn of Princess Peach she is innocent <laughs> it's like buddy buddy oh my fucking Princess Lord. Peach of course like why are people looking up porn of Tiny Tina she's like 13 it's like buddy 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 <laughs> Let me tell you, you hear about Lollicon. Let me tell you. Also, isn't Titan Tina like an adult in the new game, or am I tripping? Maybe. Not that I really care, but like. Enemy spotted. Come on, follow me. Company, come on, follow me. 
I wonder if like the tiny team games like cough as well because like I should get that game one I mean me. Like with Borderlands games though, unfortunately, like uh a lot of them are kinda like uh, oh the PC version's not co-op but the uh PS5 version is. I don't know like they change it necessarily. That would be kinda cool if it was co-op. If the PC version like you use like both our computers, maybe I could do it but like it's like Honestly, like, the real fun of Borderlands is, like, the co-opness, like, me, it's, like, if I played the game, if I played Borderlands 2, like, solo, it would been, like, a fine game and all, but, like, it wouldn't be as fun. So, I uh, definitely, if I was gonna play the Tiny Tina game, I would definitely want to be the co-op. You were just already hated Dungeon. That's how I feel when I'm playing this game right now. I'm like, man, I already fucking hate this Dungeon. It's a warp Dungeon. Probably one of my favorite subs from MM was playing Nuke in the Evergreen to get it unstuck and I open the giant ass crab and it carries the Evergreen. What? Wait, what? Trying to see like Hillary Clinton's like face as she sees that giant like evil crab. I feel like Hillary Clinton is like a crab person. Oh, fuck! These Guardians are assholes now. They're pretty easy with four, but I don't know, they're kind of hard now. Because you're getting further in the game. Let me actually like look up Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and see if it's called or not. Curiosity. I want to assume it's probably co op. Tiny Tia Goop. I uh, probably need. Or I type in Tiny. Tiny Coop. Tiny Coop? A tiny cube? Probably should like space co op. 19 is Wonderland's review. Uh, it's getting like decent reviews. Uh, 19 co op. Uh, the biggest question 19 is Wonderland support split screen co op. But thank you for split screen co op. Split screen co op is like such like a dying like uh thing. It's kind of weird because like it's like, dude, uh. It's so easy to find like a big, big sized TV for a fair price, you know. Yeah. Back in the day, back when you call it was that peak, people had like fucking like little CRTs, and it's like, and they just did, did just fine. Like you don't need like fucking two consoles on two separate like systems to like do cop well. Exactly. Like, I man, I'm so glad they fucking actually did that. Oh come on. Holy shit, split screen, yeah. Yeah, boy, we got the I'm telling you, like, screen. nowadays, like, kind of, like, become rare. Which is really weird. When it shouldn't be, like, come on. Right? Oh, the PC version's co-op, like, I would love the PC version for, like, mods and stuff, but, like, I don't know. You know, second, though, there's a second the game comes out for PC, there's gonna be, like, a new mod for Tiny Tina. Somebody's gonna cancel them on Twitter for it. Oh god, here we go. Burnished. Oh, fuck you. You're dead. This guy's got level 10. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in the Lego games. Cool. I've not played a Lego game. Huh. I heard, there, I heard there's like a lot of good Lego games though. So. Go. Yeah, I like Borderlands jokes are kind of grown worthy, but I kind of like laugh because I, I don't know. I kind of like the cringe. They're like so cringe, it's funny. Also, they dropped some potions. That's good. Okay. Potion. There we go. Dude, we got raptor claws. Look, look, dude, look at the, let's see, look at this helmet. 
Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty dope. It's adds a lot of edge here. Cool. Get away from the wall. I know. Sorry. I love Moxie because Cloud Jester girl's giving me life. Yeah, she's a milk too. Yeah, she's also a milk. Damn. Speaking of which, like, uh, we supposed to cosplay Moxie trash pink. We got we got cosplay of her. We should do it sometime. Maybe like if we get tiny tiny pink in mono. I don't know why I'm so eager McBeaver to get this want this game I mean, like touch board lance three. That's cool, you knock him into the electric like, fence and like breaks him to sleep. And knocks his hopper for a little soft dick. ourselves up and I kind of, I kind of like uh it's gonna sound weird one of the attractive things about moxie to me it looks like it's like a fetish is like this idea of like fucking like this woman with like fucking five kids who's like kind of used up so being kind of hot I don't know I feel, I feel like that's definitely the appeal of moxie is the fact that she's like kind of old kind of used but still hot I got company time to go to work Chaos. Gonna kill chaos. Looks like the switch controls them. I've got a bad feeling about this. What the fuck are these things? Like ray guns or something. Guns. Justified. <laughs> One girls were so hot like last year. I mean, want some pussy. Yeah, we all grew up like want being scared of clowns, but now we want to fuck the clown. Remember, remember a few years ago with the whole like the whole murderous clown thing? Yeah, I remember like 2016. Everybody was like scared of clowns. They're like, oh my god, the clowns are coming to kill us. I was like, ha <laughs> closey. Mm-hmm, closey. hit different. Humans are very, like, uh, impressionable creatures. We fucking are, dude. Uh. Yeah, like, some point we need the Night Mox and cosplay. Check it out. Cool. I am going to take a piss and get a drink of water. Did you grab a water bottle from the living room? Sure. My answer is hard. Uh, okay, alright, so I may come back to the star door actually. Cool. Basically, I found a door and it's like, oh, this is one of those doors where if you want to go try it, you need to fight a boss, but you're probably not at the right level for it, nor do you have the correct equipment for this boss. Cool. Yeah, I'm just dungeon crawling, literally. Kind of sucks. It's like very boring ass dungeon crawling, and like half my party kind of sucks ass. That uh, steals energy and sometimes life. Cool. Give me the suck. 
No, I don't want to use that. I don't need ascension. Rare, rare. I heard that. I heard the Godamon. Cool. Motherfucker just vanished. Spank you. Spank you, spank you. Oof. There we go. Water. Damn, okay, so that don't work. Cool. That doesn't work either. That's cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. When the game's just like, yeah, by the way, your attacks don't fucking work on this guy unless you actually fucking hit it. No, no, yeah. You have to actually hit a guy. Okay. Fine. Ah, it's like, okay, I guess. Oh, fine. I guess I'll do it. I guess you are my little snow champ. Come here. Oh, fine. Get little fun champ. Come here. Oh. Cool. Yeah, but so far, like, fans of this game have been pretty chill. They haven't, like, really spoiled anything. Because I know people, like, beat this game before we came out for everybody. Everyone's just having fun. They all just want, they all just want you, you to enjoy killing chaos. A lot of enemies are weak to Quake, I notice. Pretty, pretty sweet. Sweet. Freaking sweet, dude. We got this. Oh, yeah, we got this. Linear grip. Hey, it's Troublemaker. What's up? You're making a live-action Voltron movie. It's like, why? Uh, Y'all, did we not learn from Netflix? Is this like a new Voltron series? Or are they, or are they trying to adapt like Netflix Voltron? Or That is a good-ass question. Ultron was like uh, the Nef I seen the Netflix one anyway. It's like a pretty good show for the most part. Then the last se season kind of like dropped the ball. Like I don't think the last season was bad as like the fans claim, but it was like pretty kind of a letdown. Like compared to like what I was building up to. Yeah, it was kind of lame. <sighs> one thing about the Netflix Ultron is it was, it was like on for like only like two years or so, but there was like fucking five hundred seasons. Nothing. That's. That's that's just like a product of like corporatism, basically. Like that's just the Netflix effect, sadly. Soul blur. I have a crush on Lotor and his hot female general squad. Isn't Lotor, isn't Lotor one that got like kind of fucked over? Yeah. He got fucked over. I mean, everyone kind of got fucked over in that series. A lot of bad writing decisions and fan fiction to your plot twists are going on from what I've heard. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's literally what the fuck Netflix Voltron is. It's really bad. Like, I like uh, Keith. I like the... Uh... Like, I thought Pidge was like a kind of cool character. Uh... See. But yeah, like, it kind of just went poopy after a bit. Yeah, it was just really bad. Like, definitely a lot of shows, those where it's like, okay, like, if you give it, like, a show, like, a uh, redeeming policies, then, like, that'd be, like, one, one fix. Yeah, I feel like that one definitely needs a better final season. Uh, 
same same thing basically happened to Kevin Smith's He Man series, except the ba the ball dropping happened in the first three episodes. Yeah, like I heard bad Ooh. things about the He Man. Like that doesn't show us like there's kind of like a, a beginning. It's kind of like a culture war between like uh, you know like the SJWs versus the shit lords. Even then, the, 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 even the culture war can, can keep people interested. Like after like a week, it, that show like people stop talking about. It. Yeah, everyone. The culture war couldn't even save that one. Yeah, it's kind of a Shiro and Key Shipper, to be honest too. Like, uh, but yeah, yeah, he paired he paired Shiro, like Shiro up with some rando. Like Shiro, like the guy with like the uh, Shiro, the guy with the yeah, like the kind of like the white hair. Or, yeah, like, yeah. You're correct. I heard people saying that Shiro was like pedophilic or something, even though like Key's like 21, he's like 26 or something. They only said that because pretty much uh, Shiro and Keith met when like they were, when Keith was fifteen and shit. I swear, Shiro, he look look, he looks like he's in, like late thirties or something, but he's like he's like twenty six. Like what? He must have a hard life, dude. Like it's a hard twenty six. It's a very hard twenty six. And, and paired Pidge with a homie Chunk. I don't remember who they paired Pidge with, if anybody. It's one of those characters who's like, I guess, declared non-binary by fans, but like, I think at the end they show Pidge being more girly, so it's like, I don't know. Yeah, Pidge, Pidge it's kind of like Naoto. Pidge basically was like Naoto treatment. I think Pidge is trying to be like a, a boy to like kind of get in with a space crew or something, and then like, she's like a girl pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. It was kind of like she wanted to kind of be one of the boys. And it doesn't help that her, that her VA is non-binary. Oh yeah, that's that's a, a that's a that's a well, never mind. Uh, okay. It's kind of like one of the controversies about like the Kevin Smith He Man. It's like uh, he did not like uh, he did not like He Man. Like remember the remember like back in the day when like Kevin Smith would like make something and be like fucking Kino automatically because it had his name on it. I gotta be pissed over He-Man fan. Like, I'm not an 80s kid, obviously, because I wasn't alive in the 80s, but, like, uh... I, don't, I know some older people, older guys who are all different, like, okay, this sucks, what the fuck? It's not my He-Man. Yeah, and it's like... People are like, oh, the man baby, you're so mad, you guys doing, like, your new series. Like, yeah, because you guys are, like, basically feeding off nostalgia at this point. Like, of course, those, I'm only Those people who are like, cry about, like, man baby mess Star, Star Wars also get mad when their show is, like, reboot and run, so it's like, okay. Like, some people get mad over shows for, like, dumb reasons, but, like, let people get be disappointed. I don't know. Like, there, there, there are reboots that respect the original while also bring some new to the table for newer fans. It's like, not that hard to do. Exactly. I mean, I don't really care what Pidge is necessarily, but like, fun fact: Trash Queen used to have a Pidge cosplay. Yeah, back in the day. They're like pretty good too. Yeah, I had a Keith cosplay for a little bit. There was a, there was a time where you actually cosplay Voltron. Yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago, I was a Voltron cosplayer. Why is this fucking thing being absolutely fucking moronic right now? Huh. Oh fuck! I was trying to kill a thing and like Mr. Wind here is like. There we go. Ah! He doesn't kill this thing or else die, so it's kind of like a tragic. I don't know what like harmony gold is, so. Like a little loss here. Like, I've heard the name Harmony Gold, but like, I couldn't tell you what it is exactly. Oh shit, it's a Cactuar. Where is Cactuar at? Dude, like, camera's like fucking up here. It's like, dude. 
These things run away fast, so you should kill it ASAP. There we go. Beat the fuck out of you, Kekmor! Hmm. Eat. <coughs> I... Oh, yeah. Hi, Joe. Uh, oh, hi. I hate keep hearing rumors about Netflix remaking Mind Morphin Power Rangers or something, and I... Dread it. Wasn't, wasn't the Power Rangers movie that came out a few years ago kind of decent, I heard, and then never got a sequel? I never watched myself, Shit. but, uh... I feel like you are being... Okay, I don't know if I'm, like, half... I haven't, like, activated the first crystal yet, so I don't know how far I am into the game. I don't know how I feel about Power Rangers reboot, because I was, like, a Power Rangers kid growing up, uh... Because I wouldn't mind necessarily, like, a reboot of Power Rangers that used, like, original footage and, like, took itself a little more seriously. It wasn't, like, Saved by the Bell. But at the same time, though, it's, like... I could see, I could see like it being like trying way too hard to be serious and kind of sucking the soul out of the original and like I don't know, being kind of bland. So definitely something where you have to remake it carefully. And you know that they're not gonna they're not gonna remake it carefully. They're definitely just gonna like cash grab that shit. Power Rangers was like a fun show to like just like have a bunch of friends over and just like get drunk or high or like just vibe too and just like laugh at it. like it's 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 pretty cheesy like. Oh yeah. Like it's so it's, it's so obvious nowadays watching it when like you can see like the old Japanese footage and the uh, American footage because like I think Japanese footage is like a little bit grainier because it was like from the seventies or something. And the show's from the 90s, so like, there's a little difference in like video quality, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you kind of definitely see the differences. I wonder if like the original plot pattern is like the original like, Japanese show being kind of weird too, where it's like Reader Repulsa with like this like dinosaur or witch or something. Power Rangers by Eilish, but something I'm not fond of. Like, they made Zack a drug lord, and... So they made the black guy a drug lord? <laughs> ah, fuck it, Zack, man. They, they treat him like so racist. Like, first of all, they make him, like... They make the black guy the black ranger, okay? You guys ever played the Super Nintendo Power Rangers game? I... That, that game that, like, Zack Sprite's, like, they give him, like, big, like, red, like, blackface lips. So, like, uh... That could definitely be like fucked over. Like, <laughs> uh. black. Ooh, black mage. Let's see. Ooh, beautiful black mage. Cool, I failed on mage at least. Okay. Let me see what the fuck black mage is. That's all about. Huh. The moves seem like, well, it starts to fear us, so, like, it's a little more powerful. All right. Like, I don't know I'm too much, like, Super Sentai, and I just, like, grew up with Power Rangers as a kid, so it's like, okay. It's kind of samey, so it's like, okay, if I've been here already, no, I think I'm No one could ever bring them down. This is the, one. the power lies on their side.
He has, to, he has to follow him, like, kept in the wild with, like, fucking Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. He's, like, so corny to follow. It's kind of funny. Right? Time for a change. Uh. Going the right way, I don't fucking know. Huh? There's one. This will be a breeze. Like a map. Alright. Alright. This sucks. Are you fucking butthead or something? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like Funimation's gone away with the dodo. So, you know, kind of got sold around the rug pretty fast. Like, David, the David Mills controversy. Yeah! What happened with that? I don't know if, people, I don't know if there's like the proper YouTubers are still talking about it or not. I haven't really checked in. I don't really pay too much attention to it, but, uh... I don't know if there's been like, anything new besides, like, oh shit, the person right. dropped it. But yeah, I was looking for a hot man that was, like, a big thing, and it just kind of, like, went poof. Oof, man, not trying um, to be mean, but Estella's really bad in this game. Oofies. Yeah, I guess, like, the One Piece people learn, or, like, kind of realize, oh, hey, maybe you should, like, turn all these redheads into, like, I don't know. I don't really care, like, who gets casted by who, but it was kind of weird how, like, every, like, redhead turned to, like, a black woman. It's like, okay, but redheads don't really exist much in real life. And you like, I don't know, like... Well, first of all, you got, like, Usopp, like... Actually, there's, like, a bit of controversy with Usopp, because, like, uh... In, like, the list of countries, like, Odin said they'd be, they be from, like... Nami, Nami's, like, Ru like... Robin's, like, Russia, Luffy's, like, plus, like, Africa. It's, like, okay, first off, Africa's in the country, it's a like, fucking continent. I shouldn't laugh, but... Then people looked at, like, Usopp's lips, and they were like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my fucking god. People said Usopp having like a pointy nose is racist, but I think it's just like Pinocchio. Like he's like, you know, a liar. Yeah, I thought it was just because he he li he's always yeah. lying. What a strange timeline, yeah. And to be fair, Usopp is a character from like 90s Japan. It's kind of like a product of his time, really. Yeah. I'm paying attention. I'm also just uh, upgrading all my shit. Yeah, so many, so many people like get suckered in these like live action animes and like they're like, oh, last one sucked. This one, don't worry, this one will be good. Oh my god, it's like a fan of crew here. On the way here. Did you guys? No. Nah, me neither. Must be seeing things. Sure, must have been. They like teleport. <laughs> they just fell. They fell down to the ceiling. <laughs> they just fucking just killed themselves. They were gonna teleport this way, but like. So the, I think I'm on the right way, okay. Alright, let's go. Be ready for Live action Gundam film. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. As long as it's not like live action Transformers, I'll, I'll probably be fine. Something good for us. I can imagine like Michael Bay directing Gundam film. Oh no. It's like a little scary for my, my character here.
Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? How the Tom Berry kill me with like everyone's grudge? It's like a regular ass Tom Berry. It's like a fucking master Tom Berry. What the fuck killed me there? What? It might be the area, because didn't she say that the enemies were stronger here? Dude, this like area here just like really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh kinda annoying as well, because it's like, okay, where do I go? It looks the same. Like, I'm sorry, this game needs a map for sure. Certain map now. I guess you're trying to be like Dark Souls, but like, dude, like. Dark Souls doesn't have these like samey ass corridors and like samey ass elevators. It, it, it looks different for a reason. Like, I feel like that's part of the Dark Souls appeal is like, there's no map, but if you know how to use your noggin, you know where the fuck you're going. Tom, no, he killed me. Everyone, everybody's a grudge, though. And here's the thing: it's like Master Tom Barry cannot kill me. With everyone's grudge, and like Master Tom Barry's automatically stronger. Okay. I feel like I've been here though. Huh? Why is this map so confusing? Can't go back. I have to like exit and come back. That's stupid. Okay. Maybe I am supposed. <laughs> the live action avatar, yeah. Oh god. Where the creators were like, I don't want anything involved with we're not involved with this at all. So you know it's gonna be fucking turd. I'll probably make the fucking like in my Shyamalan fit. Make it's probably like a poly uh, dude. When the live action avatar comes on Netflix, there's gonna be like a, a clout post on Twitter that gets a lot of likes where it just like posts a picture of like the poster from uh M. Night Shyamalan's film and it, and it says like apologize this right now. Dude, I'm gonna make that fucking post as soon as it fucking happens. I'm gonna make that fucking cloud chasing post. I don't fucking care. It's it's already been kind of willed into the universe. You know it's coming. Time to go to work. Time for a chance. That's what happened like a fucking like Mario Brothers movie is now Chris Brad. Like they're posting pictures of like a 90s movie being like, apologize right now. Oh god. It's like bro, no, that fucking 90s movie is so terrible. Like both can be terrible for different reasons. Yeah, like Avatar or Last Airbender is like more or less perfect as it is. Like, it doesn't need like a live action adaptation. Me, percent. Let's see, so I got the ceiling stone here. Top's a good girl. The point of top is actually like coming to like. Uh, Momocon. Damn shoddy, okay. I love that. I love flipping that ogre. Honestly, if anything needs to re they could like adapt the fucking comic books, but uh, Cora just seems like a redo in my opinion. I'd love to see like a remake of that. Yeah, I feel like it needs a second chance. It was kind of like it had some good ideas, but it was kind of just god damn it, really kind of poorly put together. Remove the love triangle bullshit. Like maybe like uh, have like a singular like villain at the end. Uh. Have like Kor Kor and Asami may have more build up to that. Yeah, Kor 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 and Asami like porn's kind of hot, but it's just like it came out of nowhere. There's like a scene where like Kora looks at Asami and she like blushes a little bit, but then that's all, all you see. And they, they don't have a like, kiss or anything. He's like look at each other and go to a portal in the end because like he couldn't show lesbian romance in like a Nickelodeon show. That was such a weird time. Yeah, old Toph is like Yoda pretty much. Pretty much. I hate these enemies. <sighs> Traps everywhere. Screw this up and they'll be held to bed. Traps everywhere.
Yeah, like Marceline and Bubblegum are like a way better like lesbian couple in like on, animation me. because it was actually like built up to that. Type. Like it wasn't like a came out left field. Yeah, that one was a lot better handled. Uh. Plus it's cuter. Yeah, it's like a fucking Bubblegum Princess and a vampire is kind of cool. I like the dynamic of like fucking like strong girl and like a kind of a rich girl. I like the dynamic of the guy. Yeah, Coruscant. Coruscant would be cute, but if they're just handled super poorly. Okay. There we go. Nice crap. Where the fuck am I now? Dude, I got killed by a bat? Oh right now. We're back in our room. Yeah, I guess I didn't like lose so much progress on things. It's... Like, bro, this level's just like annoying ass maze, not gonna lie. Like. Let's go. Yeah, it's like it tries to go and be all cool and quirky with the whole maze thing. Oh, but... It's like a, like a space station, but like, dude, it could be better. Like, I don't know, like, I like this level as much as the other levels because, like, it's just confusing. Agreed. Like, kind of annoying. Jesus fuck, I got this party member in my party that's incredibly broken now in this game. I mean, man, this game is fucking annoying. It, it, it doesn't reward you for using early game party members, and that's what I don't like about it, is it just doesn't reward you. Yeah, the thing is, like, when you have these love triangles, it's like... Yeah, she'll just end up with, like, fucking, like, I don't know, Boland fucking Asami while Asami's out Korra. And like Mako's in the background that's crying and like being a fucking in a in a cucked shit or something. Yeah, dude, he uh, with how much of a douchebag that dude was, he definitely deserves to be put in the cuck tent. Also, like I assume the name Mako, I think they did, like after like the original Iro voice actor, like what a fucking douchebag character name after Yeah, like, what the fuck? Oh god! Say it is so! Oh, god damn it, I like fell down. It's always you like fall down during this game, man. Yeah, I noticed that it's not really fair with that. It's very easy to kind of just like fall off the ledges and shit. Yeah, then Dark Souls got the same problem where it's like, okay. I don't think I killed all the enemies, I think. It's old man Boomy at least get some references in the Korra series. I don't remember. Korra's a show of like only watched one time, so I don't remember much. Nickelodeon was the last season. They like fucking fucked over that show so much. They just like put the last season on like uh, a streaming service back when streaming services weren't that cool. Like, I love the idea of, like, a steampunk world, which is kind of cool with, like, Korra, but it's like, yeah, they kind of dropped the ball a little bit there. Oh, shit. Uh. Let's see. Aang is dead, and, like, uh... Korra. You see, you see Aang in flashbacks. Uh, Sokka's dead, too. You see him in flashbacks. Katara's still alive. He's, she's like an old lady. Oh, yeah. She was an old lady. Shit, I mean save it, actually. I didn't want, I didn't want like, my progress overridden. Zuko. I don't know what they do with Zuko. They, they pretend it never existed. Pretty much.
try assassin out now. Now, now I'm locked. Ass assassin. I like how people still say Steven Universe is bad because, like, uh, the show's been around for so long, it's probably haven't seen, like, the opposite effect happen where it's like, oh, it's actually, like, good. I don't know. I haven't watched myself, so I don't know much about Steven Universe. Have I unlocked Assassin yet? Let me see. First stack tomboy rock girlfriend. Oh shit. Uh, there's Monk. Let me see here. Oh, I, I need to like, uh, <laughs> His gun is called Moby Dick. I need unlock. That'd be a thief. So maybe I should switch back to thief. I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like using monks. I may use a little more. Off Bay Fong. Off Bay Fong, you mean? Time to go to work. Yeah, you see, like, Toph is like, a, the flashback is like, kind of like a adult, like a, you know, like a younger adult, like, or maybe like 30 something, 40 something adult. She looks cool. Toph's like, a... Toph's daughter in, like, a. Or it's kind of hot and, like, the mature woman kind of vibe, too. Like, she's like a strong, mature woman. Yeah, she is. God not. damn it! Oh, yeah. I'm getting really pissed off with this, like, part here. I go back up, I guess. All I want to do is get to the end of this level. I feel like I'm near the end, but... I don't know if we're ever oh, Where the fuck am I now? Like, how to get back here? Can I just kill myself? Like actually like teleport back or something? I don't know. There needs to be like a teleport back to save point option. Like where the fuck am I now? Just kill me. This'll be a breeze. Just kill me, kill me, shoot me, come on. Now I'm in the trouble of like getting killed, okay. Kill me, come on, do it! Kill me! Kill me, come on! There we go. Yeah, sometimes you just want to kill yourself because, like, uh. You, like, fell down so far. Came back to the save point. Like, it's just not really worth it. Yeah, it's like, it's just. It would just be better if I just fucking died. We got company. Time to go to work. Like, it's part of the game's awful. Okay, this part actually here is like has a lot of space and there's like no drops, so maybe I'll just vibe here a little bit. Life is flashing before my eyes. Might be in big trouble. Just keep hitting them. There you go. Ready to try again? Are you trying again? There's one. This will be a breeze. Huh. This one's got some tea. Come on, we can do this. There we go. There you go, self destruct. Woo! Beautiful. I can turn us on in peace. 
like actually be able to look around and like explore and do all kinds of cool shit. Oh, there, Ooh. Guardian. I'm gonna go fight this motherfucker. Stand a chance. Can be. Okay, since I'm off the uh, thing, can I just like skip the this part? Yeah. Careful now. don't follow me. Time for a change. Time for a change. Time for a change. Time for a change. Damn. Okay. My oh, dude. Oh my god! This game has suffered from like too much shit on the screen, on the screen sometimes, man. Like, yeah. Okay, die, Guardian. My fucking god! Let me kill this damn wind elemental! Stop hitting me! What? My god, fuck you! Ugh. Ugh. I can't even like, really skip this part because they'll follow me. God, no! God. Yeah, that's kill me. I'm, I'm waiting for the elevator. Like, this level here is a pain. Like, not enough save points, like... Guardians are annoying, like, way too many. Too easy to fall, kind of a maze. Like, I like all like, the worlds in this game so far, but this world here kind of sucks. It's that one level. I don't know if, I don't know if like, players feel the same way or not about this that I do, but like, holy shit, I hate this level. Dude, let's kill all the guardians here. Riverdale's still going on. I know what Riverdale is. Well, I've heard of it, but I couldn't tell you what it's about. Time for a 
change. Okay, good. Jesus Christ. You ready for anything? Oh yeah, let's get that, that, that show with like, I guess, an adaptation of like the Archie comics. Fucked. We kill the ogre, so it should be smooth selling this room. Cool. I love when I can't fucking attack. There's too many enemies on the screen. Cool. Not over till it's over. Okay, so there's like a little shortcut you can do here. Not not really huge or anything, but like shortcut's a shortcut, I guess. Cool. I love getting almost to 100 s. CPS craft, and then fucking dying, because all these motherfuckers get way too many hits, but okay. Yeah, the trials games have a problem of, like, uh, when the enemies have too many, like, chances to attack. Look at this shit! Or it's like, oh, hey, you have one attack, and the enemies have, like, ten, and it's like, okay. Yeah, look at this shit! I can't even fucking hit! Oh, I think I hit the crystal, okay. But there was a point to that shortcut. I gotta kill these fuckers again. Lovely. This kill man, I miss Key's arrow. Arrow's like really arrow's kinda of broken. It's, it just like stops the enemies out of tracks pretty much. Damn, got an S craft, can't even use it. Cool. Hmm. I'm just gonna lower the difficulty. This is fucking stupid. Yeah, nothing went wrong with like lower difficulty in Trails game, because like Ooh, I'm still down there. That would it's be just ain't even fair. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine enemies, four party members. Now then, what should we do now? Shit. Destroy the guns for sure. Get fucked, Jed. He was already getting fucked. Uh, gonna, Jed's gonna come up to the sky, watch it say. Jed's gonna like reappear. The top. Yeah. Stay frosty. Yep. What the fuck does say frosty even mean? That That's phrase is used a lot, but it's like. Should we check it out? I'm just imagining like people becoming a frosty from Wendy's. What is. Yeah, what does stay frosty mean? I think it just means like be on the lookout or like keep a guard up or like something like that, but like it's a weird phrase. It's opinion. a very odd phrase. Oh, come the fuck on, Olivier. Seriously? Hi, my name is Olivier, and I just like to miss my all of my fucking attacks because I'm a dumb whore. The horn dog. Because I'm a dumb fucking whore. Anyway, where are we going here? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Oh, shit, cutscene time? Probably. Yes, looks like we're at the boss, so... Oh, thank fuck, this level was annoying. That's okay, though. So, who are we gonna fight? Oh, shit. Sorry, it looks kind of annoying. This definitely looks annoying. So, the Crystal Guardian. Whoa. Never seen him react like this. Here we are. Oh. 
Neon kind of looks like 2B or 9S. With the outfit on. Kinda? Kinda for some minute. I couldn't. <sighs> Pass leaves scores behind. Ignore them. <sighs> Are you chaos? <laughs> Doesn't matter how many of you there are. I'll kill every last one. Is he gonna kill Chaos, y'all? That's like a naked woman in the center. Okay. I know its name. Tiamat. Oh, didn't you fight this in like the first like like kind of like test battle? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot, yeah, the introduction. Huh. Except now it's like a legit fight. Yeah, probably not as easy it was. Like... There we go. Oh. Come on, we can do this. Cool. Damn. Yeah, Mathic's pretty good in this game. Wake is kind of broken. So far, easy boss. Knock on wood, of course, but... Yeah, you're not at the halfway point yet, so things may change, but you never know. I just like how this first thing is, WHERE'S CHAOS?! Water gets pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, black bait is kinda of broken, I don't lie. It's wrapped to the store. Not good. Not good. Things can't ever be easy. Try to beat Faraga. Not bad. Oof. For mistakes. Cool. First half done. What you gonna do? Oh yeah, body slam the hit. <laughs> Yeah, blood rate him or Yes, yeah, like worth fighting at the beginning. Looks like it. I only got half its health bar left though. Come on. Ah, here we go. Absorb you into the darkness. Get down! Get down! Here we go. That's really mad. Okay, so this is like in the annoying. Be safe, guys. Not dead yet. Not lucky 
good in the potion department. We'll have to take it slow. Wow. Oof. Yeah. Can't like I kill by a whirlwind attack. That shit's like pretty easy to dodge usually. And it didn't do too bad my first try, but no. obviously I shouldn't like waste too much on the first form because first form is supposed to be easy. Okay, let's try this again here. Dude, I don't love that when I like get really far into a boss uh, the first time, and the next time I do it, I die instantly. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? Sometimes it'd be like that. What did I do wrong? Okay, try again here. Hell yeah. I'm sure one day I'll get a get a chance uh, to get a chance to get a for a change. Time for a change. <laughs> Yeah, Blizzard's its weakness, okay. Ah! Good time. Yeah, my strategy here is just gonna, like, block its attacks and, like, counter with Blizzard. Seems to work well. Like that attack there is like so easy to block and you get like a lot of them. Every time I fucking went up. They're nice here. Ah! Every time.
Oh. Can't skip this, unfortunately. These guys got the tax. Oh, I got a lot of uh lizards. One hit kill! Oh wait, I'm not dead. I hate that where it's like I'm not dead and but my character does not get up, so like by the time he does get up, he gets fucking murdered. I like, guess pain. I hate that shit. Hey, what? When like you're like I'm not dead, and then five seconds later, oh no, wait, I thought I thought wrong. Bro, my character needs to like learn. Please tell me if you're alive or not, motherfucker. I'm gonna need to go and grab the fucking charger. Normally it, I wouldn't. It, it, it kind of like it gets annoying because like when they say get up, Jack, it's like sometimes it means the character's dead, or sometimes the character's like knocked down. It's like, bro, quit spamming. Yeah, it's like uh, make up your like it, it's not good to have both of them. Oh, come on, I wasn't targeting it. That's getting warmed up. How did I fuck up and dodge that? Get hit by the easily like black wall pack. You tricked me! Huh. Can you do that jumping attack more in like an organic fashion, not like when we're in the middle of like doing an air attack? Don't drink them all at once. No room for mistakes. Bro, one hit kills. That's full health. That's bullshit. One hit kills, really?
how you sever her necks. I'll get a few more tries, otherwise may like be good for a night. To be fair, I was like pretty like uh beaten down last level in general, so maybe I come back to the next time the fresh phase I can do it. Probably. I feel like it's gonna be one of those once you come back to it, you'll probably be you'll probably get it like one of the first few goes. Well, they're just info dumping on me. Lizard like does drop it kind of stuff dead in its track, so but Good so far. Oh, it's just like change classes too and get like white mage. I don't know. That might help. Buff my characters because one hit kill is like kind of. Trying to get some trouble here. Try attacking and watch out for it. Oh, good. That was a very short side story. Oh, my fucking God. Sis, what's that? I have brain power, companion can assist. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Answer that question for me. Oh, come on. Almost out of potions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you mean the companion jobs? That sounds correct. Try a light bringer as well. I keep forgetting these abilities. Take it from here, Neon! 
Oh, I'm paralyzed. Fuck. God! Uh, this boss is tricky because, like, second form, you cannot HP to deplete him. You have to, like, uh, rate deplete him because he'll heal himself full H when he, he's down a little bit. That is tricky. So. Due to the fact I may, uh, call it a night or something, because, like, uh, like I said, uh, Maybe when I get back to the game next time with a fresh face, I can like beat it pretty easily. But like, Lucky here. otherwise, like, uh, something this good in a while. Lucky. I think the fucking like this level in general is kind of like hard for me. So by the time I get got to like the boss, it's like, okay, I'm done. I think that's what's going on here. Well, I did be a boss tonight, so I was like, okay, you're going by Dark Souls rule. 